Distillation has been serving mankind since antiquity. This primitive still from Mesopotamia illustrates its basic principles. Heat added to a liquid causes it to boil. When its vapors contact a cool surface, they condense, returning to the liquid state. This artifact was probably used in the preparation of medicines or fragrances. Over the centuries, the use of distillation has greatly expanded and equipment has progressed in terms of size, design, and materials of construction. But the process itself has changed very little, and it has some limitations. This diagram represents distillation as it has been practiced through the ages. It is a two-step process. In step one, called evaporation, a feed liquid is caused to boil through the addition of heat. This generates a gaseous stream and a liquid residue or bottom stream. In step two, the gas previously generated is condensed through the removal of heat to form a stream of liquid product. An important feature of this process is that the temperature of step one must be higher than that of step two. This is a limitation in the processing of delicate substances. A second limiting feature of the process is that it is extremely energy intensive. Dry still offers a four-step process that reduces both the evaporation temperature and the overall energy consumption. It addresses a felt need in many industries for a new and better way to separate volatile components from temperature sensitive liquids and slurries. Step 1, evaporation, is functionally the same as its counterpart in conventional distillation, but takes place at a lower temperature and pressure. Its vapor stream passes to step 2, where it is not condensed but absorbed into an absorption fluid. Dry still normally uses a lithium bromide salt solution as the absorption fluid. It enters stage 2 as a highly concentrated brine and leaves as a more dilute stream. In step 3, all the volatile substances absorbed by the brine in step 2 are boiled off at high temperature. From the point of view of the absorption fluid, step 3 is merely the inverse of step 2. But the desorption takes place at a higher pressure so that the gas produced may be condensed in step 4 using ordinary low-cost cooling methods. As indicated by the color coding, the process covers a wide temperature spectrum. But temperature sensitivity issues are normally confined to step 1, where substances such as sugars, proteins, enzymes, and microorganisms enter with the feed and leave with the bottoms. The volatile components, including water, alcohols, and organic solvents, are unaffected by temperatures up to and beyond 200 degrees C. A temperature ceiling that high permits the use of multiple effect distillation, or MED, a well-known and widely used energy-saving measure. The four-step process may be pictured as two independent subsystems, which communicate only through the absorption fluid circuit. Steps three and four serve the ancillary function of absorption fluid reconcentration. There is no new technology here. It is a very ordinary multiple effect evaporator running a clean, well-behaved fluid. The main process, comprising steps one and two, is where the novelty resides. Dry still has elegantly combined the evaporator and the gas absorber into a single unit, which it calls a SAM, an acronym for Stripper Absorption Module. It embodies a remarkable heat integration strategy. Heat must be applied to an evaporator to cause liquid to boil. Heat must also be withdrawn from a gas absorber to enable it to function. These two heat flows are roughly equal in magnitude. Because the gas absorber operates at a higher temperature than the evaporator, it is possible to use the heat thrown off by step two to drive step one. A SAM, therefore, is a passive device. It requires no externally applied heat. Drystall has coined the term TIGA to describe this process. It stands for Thermally Integrated Evaporation and Gas Absorption. In taiga, the volatiles are boiled not once but twice. However, the first boil up is in the SAM at no cost in energy. The second time is in a multiple effect distillation unit that uses less than half the energy 
of conventional distillation. The math is simple. The overall energy consumption is less than 50% of that used by the familiar two-step process. What does a SAM look like? There are many ways to build one. Here is a design featuring heat pipes as the means to transfer heat between the evaporation and gas absorption chambers. You may learn more about this and other related topics on the website www.passthroughdistillation.com. In summary, dry still has simultaneously mitigated distillation's two worst stigmas, hot evaporation and excessive energy costs. This is arguably the greatest leap forward in five and a half thousand years.